Hello, this is Crudstar, and Silk 2 was just recently announced from UJAM, and I had to try it. And I say try, I'm in a seven day trial mode. One of the good things about UJAM is if you want to try something, you can. If you want to see if it's for you, go right ahead, go download it. This was a seven gigabyte install. One of the things that kept me from trying it is because, or one of the things that I want to do as a resolution this year is to not try to buy new plugins. I can upgrade them, but I can't get new ones. And a lot of that decision is, is I'm running out of hard drive space and I don't really have enough space to put all these things on it. I'm going to remedy that situation here shortly. I'm going to buy a, a hard drive that's double the size basically so I can have a lot more plugins and with uh, upgrade them and, and uh, try them with want and abandon. But for right now, can't do it. So I have to be really choosy about what I do. And this is my choice for today. My choice is to look at Silk 2 to see if they can get me to buy it. It's a $20 upgrade since I orig owned the original suit, Silk. I got this one, I think, for $20 on sale somewhere. I'm sort of the fan of the nylon guitars, and I, 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 I will try them each and every time because, basically, I think there's something magical. And this one, no exception. I think there's something magical, so I'm going to try it. This is to see if I will actually spend it. I am... A hard pass right now and so this is this is something to, to try to get me to see if there's something special to get me to purchase it you make your own decision on whether or not it's right for you i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna make the decision for me obviously right now this follows the same type of standard practice at least initially with these new version 2.0s you got a player and then you got an instrument which is kind of newer on the old one you could do the same thing as the instrument. Actually, if I found out when playing around with this, you if you hold down this key, it plays a it plays a note. Actually, I'm still on silk two. And these are both low, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn them up. And then you can go with phrases. So the, this is the original and as you can guess, what it is is a virtual instrument Nylon, it's supposed to be a nylon, I think, guitar player. Could be acoustic, could be nylon. I think they said it was nylon, and that makes this one kind of special to me. 2.0 does sort of the same thing, It, but instead of having a hidden key that you have to guess and press to get it to play individual notes, this one is all for it playing in individual notes. So let me get the back on the right track. This has a, let me get up both here so that we can see the, the slight differences in the UI. Very, very so slight, but this has a, in the style over here, you have all of these and you don't have really any BPM information, but here you do. You have a lot of BPM information on here on every one of these styles. That's actually really neat. It has a help thing so it can show you what it does on the keyboard, and that's actually pretty neat. I'm back on the original again.
I think it might be timed to the BPM. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it's in time to the BPM. Already, I think there are, are probably a bit more common phrases and style phrases than this one had. It looks like it's missing the bass notes. That may not be a big issue. That's interesting. It is missing the bass notes. Is it on here somewhere? It's got micro timing. You can mess with the timing. Let's let's uh, do off the keyboard and do this. Okay, so you have your usual blend of position between the neck and the bridge we have here also. You have the character of what you want it to sound like. You have the mix, not the mics, and then how much air. I think that's probably reverb. How much width in the in the stereo field that you want or the you know left and right speakers. And then you they got these new finisher things that you can add. Finishers are kind of cool. It adds new, new, different styles of effects, kind of like when, what you have here. But these are more polished, more kind of the style of uh, Infiltrator and Narcotic, and a couple other ones that are that are more a mass comb combination. And you just apply the, the wet, not wet dry knob here to get your intended effect. And then they got the same thing here. This alone right here has actually gotten me very interested. I I I, I tend I kind of like it. I re I really do. I think I could make a track just based upon that sound alone. It sounds it sounds really wicked, way wicked. If you wanted to have it play by just holding down a key, you should be able to hit latch and it just stays. It doesn't show it. But it's slatched. And then the stereo, the, if you have these headphones on, you can actually hear something different on the right side than the left side. It's pretty crazy. And then I turn the latch off and it stops playing. I had no hands on my keyboard at that time. That is pretty wild. Oh, this acts like a kind of like a guitar. You, you put your hands on here to what you want the fret to be, what note that you're playing, and then you actually play it on the on the play here. Duh, right? But I was expecting it to, to hold down this and then play this, but it's the opposite way. I had to have it on trigger mode.
It's very muted on the, the play side for some reason. You can barely hear it. Okay, so that's the trigger. Disable, automation, upstroke, dead notes, muted, hand muted, open. There we go. Oh, it's got picking. Sorry, I'm learning this. This is the first time I'm playing with this, so it takes some learning to get used to. It's not like I, I don't like to read the manuals because I love to show how intuitive something is. And if I can figure it out, then you could probably figure it out. And it probably can hear me pounding away on my keyboard. Because I'm trying to get a little bit of velocity as if it's velocity sensitive. Or I'm just clowning away. Overall, not too bad. It is, it is quite an impressive upgrade. I, I actually like these parts of it just because there's already pre-made effects for you. You don't have to do it. The reason why you, you, we, you would tend to buy the infiltrator and stuff like that, it's not because it has a delay or if it has anything else. It's because it has a lot of handcrafted effects for you to already get into and just explore around and see what it could do to your sound. And this, by the same exact way, probably do something side chill. I'm going to say side chill. Ambient chill any types of those types of genres just on that that effect alone i do like that effect that is that is that is pretty cool all right anything else to look at we got probably information up here we got a whole bunch of presets let's look at the Of course, this is going along with the BPM. I got a really fast BP BPM, so. Actually quite lovely. I really like it. I, I, it is it actually is impressive. It went from a hard hard pass to I can see myself using this more. And it being Sunday, if I wasn't gonna do this, I was gonna try to do something a little chill or ambient. I can see me slowing down or recording it or bouncing this to audio and slowing or freezing it and slowing it down. artificially and see how see what the artifacts were and then probably using that and then add some reverb or something to it but overall i i, I think it's i think it's a worthy upgrade i do i think it i think it might pass it, it passes i i, I want to use it more i just have to get used to playing it that's the only problem or programming it If you like it, let me know. If you don't, don't buy it. <laughs> I think I think it's it's a cool upgrade. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I will catch you later.